When someone's laughing, you should never ask what's funny because they might actually tell you. Have you looked at your zipper? Well, it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And last week we showed you guys the rocket, Stevenson's rocket. Exactly. A one half inch scale, one of the oldest successful locomotives, wildly heralded as the world's first passenger locomotive wow. because it actually functioned and pulled passengers mm -hmm. and before that there were a few uh real early steam engines that pulled loads of stone and slate and that sort of thing but it was a very early era and steam locomotives were mm -hmm. experimental well what we have here this week is mini crafts trevithic what? Isn't that an unusual name for a that? steam locomotive? But the Trevithic was the very first steam engine. Notice that the stack is at the back. Oh, how does that work? <laughs> well, it's right next to the fire door where the coal goes in. What it means is you've actually got to stop every time you want to add coal to the fire. It was built by this guy, Richard Trevithic. And he became well known in the late 1700s for building high pressure steam engines, a, a whole new concept. And he built one for the Penny Darren Steelworks that ran a hammer. And later on he said, you know, I can mount this thing to a cart and make it self propel down a roadway or down a track or something. So he converted it into the world's first steam locomotive. Well, isn't that crazy? Isn't that funny? Wow! And he had to walk alongside, and then uh, when he wanted to add coal, he'd stop, throw coal in the firebox, pull out on the throttle, and continue on. <laughs> and, he, and this is how he used it. He would sell rides on it. He had a, a circle of track, and he'd take it around to different towns, and he'd charge people a penny or something and they could ride on a little cart being pulled by the steam locomotive. How about that? Well, there you go. And he went on to build several variations of the thing as well. So a few years ago, a group of people in England decided to rebuild it. So look, it's back. We should go see that. I'd love to. Uh, it didn't even have flangeways. If you'll notice on the rail, it uses like a channel, it's almost like a rutway, so the wheels are hmm. running on a flat piece of metal. Oh, for heaven's sake, wow. it's got these little scallops between the ties for support. Oh, wow. And then the wheels run on the little flat section. Uh, again, everything was sort of experimental. Right. They had had railroads in Great Britain for hundreds of mm, years. Yeah. But they were gravity, the, the carts would either just roll downhill of their own accord, mm -hmm. loaded with stone, uh, and then maybe the empties would get pulled back uphill uh. with a horse, or it was just a horse-pulled series of carts running on tracks or mm -hmm. rails, wooden rails. And uh, the whole idea of metal rails and so on sort of had to be developed when mm. they started putting heavy things like steam locomotives. It's just interesting. And uh, this one's in 138th scale, so it's a little bit smaller than the other ones we've been looking at. Mm -hmm. But it's And it's a little bit of a hard kit to find, but anything's yeah. findable if you just search for eBay. eBay. And it's a Japanese oh. kit. So all of the writing and the it's instructions, in everything's in Japanese, but you can figure it out quite simply. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually that looks like Korean. So maybe it does. It's, it's Korean. No, does it say on there? It doesn't. It just mm. says it's an Academy model mm. and then it was distributed by Minicraft. Oh, there you go. Um, so kind of unusual, but I wanted to find one. Yes, Korea. Manufactured yeah, in right the Republic of Seoul, Korea. Republic of Korea, Seoul, Korea. Mm -hmm. So there you right. have it. Let's take a look at the, the bits and pieces mm, inside. Gee whiz. Because it's it's actually open. There's the original There's the shrink original wrap. Shrink wrap even. And here's the uh, instructions, kind of Pictionary, so yes. that they're of a universal language, what writing there is. Uh, in 1775, when he was only 25 years old, Trevithick was building working models of high-pressure steam engines. Mm -hmm. So, uh, groundbreaking stuff. And uh, this one has been recreated, and I've seen it, uh, not in person. I've just seen it on film. And on if film. you search uh, the Internet and, and YouTube, you will find hmm. a video 
of a recreated version of this, and it is capable of moving itself down the, mm. down the track. That's cool. There was a lot of experimentation uh, in the early days of steam. You know, can we build an automobile that runs right. on steam? Right. Well, yeah, they built all kinds of little carts. You couldn't steer them because if you put eight tons on, on steel wheels and run it on a dirt field and it just crashes into a wall. <laughs> sort of like what we, we <laughs> yeah. ran into at the steam up in uh, yeah. Portland. Exactly. Yeah, the, there's a Brooks. lot of problems. <laughs> Brooks, Oregon. Yeah. Yes. But these big steam tractors and all that sort of thing without proper roads. And, and that's why it occurred to Trevithick that running it, it on, on, a a, on a railroad then you don't have to steer it yeah, because you couldn't turn these things. They were too heavy, and they wouldn't sink into the ground. That's neat. Because it was running on rails. Mm. And uh, not a lot of parts to it. Mm. It's a Pretty really, easy. really basic, basic, basic model. Mm -hmm. And uh, Has it stand. display stand and, and right. so on. Well, that's cool. So just neat. I'd like to put it together at some time, <laughs> but I've just kind of hung on to the kit because right. it's uh, cool. And it's, it's a little tiny bit of an unusual kit to find. So, mm -hmm. so there it is. Just, mm -hmm. just cool. I love these plastic, uh, because there have been over the years many, many, many plastic steam engines right. that were never intended to be part of a model railroad, just shelf displays. Just and a shelf display, static here's, model. There's uh, a really cool. interesting engine doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please subscribe. And here's your opportunity. Here we Are we ready, ready for it? Zoom. You click on the blue button mm -hmm. and that will make you a subscriber. <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday because we'll be driving around right. and going around doing that. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>